I am here with NBA champion, two-time America East Player of the Year. He has his number 10 retired by the Hofstra Pride, and now he is the newest head men's basketball coach, none other than Speedy Claxton. Coach Claxton, thank you so much for taking the time, and how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Looking forward to this. Should be some. Should be fun here. So, Coach, as I said in the beginning, you are now Coach Claxton. You've been an assistant coach, but what does it mean for you to be the head coach at your alma mater? It means everything. Uh, this is what I envisioned when I signed my NLI here years ago, 20 years ago, almost. Jeez, that sounds like a long time. But, you know, I wanted to go to a program where um, and they didn't have a, a, a huge basketball tradition because I wanted to go make a big name for myself because I knew ultimately I would want to come back there and lead that program and that is exactly what I did. So now coach mentioning your playing career you won an NBA championship with the San Antonio Spurs in 2003 so what experience can you take from your playing days and pass on to players now? You know to give it all you had um, and seize the moment you know you never know where this game of basketball can take you so I would say every time you go out there, play hard and do the right thing on and off the court. So speaking of players, college players across the country are starting to enter the transfer portal and declare for the draft. We've already seen coaches have success returning to the colleges where they played, such as Juwan Howard returning to Michigan. So how do you see how do you believe coaching at the school where you played will affect your own recruitment going forward? Well, first of all, it, when you coach at your alma mater, it makes you, it makes the job mean more because you definitely want to see the program succeed. And, you know, uh, these kids look at that and, you know, that they come visit the, the university, the campus, and they see your pictures basically everywhere. So they know you, you mean well, and you're, you're a genuine person and that you care about them and the program. So looking forward to next season, what are your goals for the team? And are there any conference games that you already have circled on your calendar? Just to go out there and compete, play hard. And um, there's no game I specifically schedule. They're all going to mean um, a lot. Um, you know, it's my first time doing this thing. So every game, I'm going to just try to prepare my team as best as I can to go out there and win. Now, Coach, I've seen you've been doing press all this week, and you've probably had to answer the same questions over and over. So I'm going to try and ask, ask a question that you <laughs> haven't heard all week. Uh, what is your go-to order at Jim's Deli? Oh, wow, my go-to order at Jim's Deli. It depends on if I'm there for breakfast or lunch. If I'm there for breakfast, I'm going to have a bacon, egg, and cheese on a, uh, on a roll. If I'm there for lunch, I'm either going to have some wings or I'm going to have a turkey and cheese hero. Bacon, egg, and cheese is one of my favorites, too. So, well, Coach, can't, thank- can't, go, can't go wrong with that. No, you can't. Coach, thank you so much for your time today. I know we will all be rooting for you this season, and I cannot wait until we can pack the Mac again. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it, and welcome to support.